loud. <laughs> well, that's because we're live. Oh, shit. Yeah. Well, You're welcome, Miss Mary, and this is Flash at the Dork Table on... And this is Randy, yeah, and but... I'm, I'm eating at the Grammy Cafe. <laughs> Let's see if I did all this stuff right. And made it to the RLM chat, home of the wayward soul. Anyway... This is Flash and Grammy at the Dork Table on the 22nd of August, two days short of Grimm's birthday, by the way. Hey, Mental, I guess we're we're live. He's flashing. Happy birthday me. to you a little early. Happy birthday to you a little early. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you a little early, Grimm. Yeah. I just had to do that because I won't be around on your birthday, so. Ugh. Well, I won't be here. Well, neither will he. Mom's. Yeah, neither will he. He's oh. He's Monday-less for a min- minute or two. So, ah. I guess I can do the bots and boscos tonight. Actually, I can. I'm finishing chewing. Yeah, well, here, <laughs> let me stall. Let me stall, will you? That That just sounds so wrong. <laughs> I wonder how many protocols we're breaking, bending, and stripping right now but <laughs> da, 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 we're overachieving <laughs> overachieving with flash and mary anyway you ready right. thanks grim yeah. appreciate it thank you grammy you're so awesome <laughs> he's the <a> boss <laughs> okay um oh yeah. gosh what now okay I got, I got toast stuck in my teeth oh <laughs> well what a place to get it stuck too could have been well, worse. Have it stuck, some stuck in, well, we won't. Yeah, <laughs> it could have always. It could always be a lot worse. Yes, it can. You know, it's kind of like having one of those sex on the beach drinks. I don't want to have one of those because I'm afraid I might have sand in my crack. But but <sighs> oh, moving along. Sing Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> have we stalled long enough, Chewy? <laughs> <laughs> I can't make the chew. Your chewy I can't, I can't, okay. I can't do chewy. We're setting chewy. radio okay. back Okay, Barman, years the here. most splendiferous bot in the whole wide world, is right up there on top, closely followed by Beetle. 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 He's working. He, he's gone. He's working? Yeah. He well, was... obviously, Pippi is not on his lap then. Or maybe he's Up-up. back by now. I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't know. <sighs> Beetle's just kind of beetle. Yeah, but he'll, he'll make you know, his... He, he does his own thing. You know, it's almost like he actually thinks he can make decisions for himself. Well, what the hell? He makes himself known when he's around. Oh, well, yeah, he does. Yes, he so, does. Yes, you sir. cannot ignore Beetle! Beetle! He's in all caps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that too. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Okay. An I also see Grimner. Grimner! Oh, and God, who has a anniversary of the day he showed up on this planet to give us all the Grimner Grimner I, I'll think of something Grimnerdo uh, no, um, uh, yeah Grimnerdo yeah <laughs> to give us the Grimmy wisdom <laughs> oh and no. to let us know the world would not be right without a Grimner in it oh so you know he's making another lap ah. and I'll bet he's just tired because it's a long way Around yeah. the sun, yeah. you know, and yeah. you have to run it the whole time. Mm-hmm. It's like talk about hot flashes. Whew. Okay. <laughs> okay, now he's Grim Nerdo. Sweet. <laughs> I also see the lovely moose goyle, and I heard moose a little girls. bit of them last night just before I went to bed um, mm-hmm. on the frequent ball. Yeah. Well, I got and up for half the show this morning. My cat. There you go. My cat has a thing for moose. I think. And he makes me ah. you know, he makes me come down here and do things for him so he can hear the freaker's ball. <laughs> so he can hear the mighty moose. <laughs> Moosey, you got a hurrah coming after you. <laughs> what are those meow cats? Yeah, he's a meow. 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 Yeah. Like meow. that. Well, mm. Yeah, that. Mm. I also see the lovely Miss Kate is here. Hey, Miss Kate. Kate. I hope. I hope you're dodging hurricanes and hemicanes and big badass storms. Ooh, I hope, I hope, I hope. Uh, Got a double dipping going on down in that uh, neck of the woods. It's ooh. like, holy moly, talk about overachievers. Mother Nature saying, I'm going to smite somebody, and I don't care what you say, because I'm bringing back up. Wow, ain't you positive tonight? Well, 
Yeah. <laughs> I also see the uh, lovely uh, Anti. Uh, oh, uh, Miss Kate is dodging. She's a good dodger. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah. I also see Asmodeus Asmo is here as well. Asmodeus. Chloe. And Chalsa Denise. Chalsa Denise. The, oh. No, then oh. we got a regular Chloe because we got a Chloe with an up and down slash, which I don't, I don't know if that's kind of a way of of saying you're number one or what, but I'm just gonna go with it. I also see Dayo. Here he is here. Dayo, girlfriend. I saw that guitar you're working on. That's pretty. It's pretty. Ooh, Door Cakes is making a bamboo door today. Mental! Sweet! How the hell Sweet. Are you? Nope. I also see Duh, Duh, Duh is here. Duh, 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 Duh. That's kind of fun. Your you destination. Your destination. Yep. Cool. Flash, somebody is here. That's that's that other guy on the Redidio. That, that's me, Miss Mary. Mm-hmm. In, in, in my suit of... Verbal armor. Oi. Hey. Yeah, lur- Lurky's the sneaky prick that hides behind the shadows. Ah, yeah. who knows what evil lurks in the lurky hearts of the lurky lurker. Probably I don't know. Sir. I also see a frumpy <laughs> work, because frumpy got Hey, the... Canada, da, 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 da. Kanakistan. Yeah. Kanakistan. There you go. I'm here. Kind of, sort of. Graham C. Almost, maybe. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and you're there. And JJ's. Ooh, JJ's. Very good. We have the J's. And, uh, the kilted one. Ah. Somebody's got to do it. It not kilt. It means he wears one. <laughs> English is so uh, fun. <laughs> it's it's a really difficult language. Yep. Just ask me. I have trouble with it myself. Oh, tell me about it. I just try and make it sound like I know what I'm doing so that everybody goes, wow, she's so smart. Yeah, you're, you're like uh, Fredo. Yeah. In The Godfather. Yeah. 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 Part one. I also see Meister Brow is here. He's kind of like Fredo, too, ain't he? Oh, Meister Brow. I don't know. Fredo yeah. got shot for trying to kill his brother. <laughs> That's not a good comparison in my... Oh, well, never mind. Well, no, Meister Brow is always whooping up on... Well, he's not whooping up anymore, but he used to be a badass whooper upper. Yeah, but Fredo is a no, he's failed. A... He's a failed whooper that got murdered for screwing up really bad. Oh well, sorry, Woody. Sorry, Meister Brown. <laughs> I won't... It's, you know, I don't care about this <laughs> kind of shit. I just like the name Fredo. Maybe I should have said Frodo. Because Frodo Prim! was kind of a cool little. Frodo was a cool little hobbit. I thought, at least. We got some prints in print here. Prints. I also got a Rob Works. Hey, Rob, did you fire up the bubbler? Because I'm thinking that I'm... I uh, I don't necessarily need a bubbler. But just saying. I know, that's a shock, it's isn't something it? in it. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Wow. If I had I your... If I if I had your thought process, I would never have to smoke at all. I know it's been a while. Didn't <sighs> yep, it? it's a, something yeah. to watch. I gotta say. Yeah. Okay, where step, were we? Step inside my mind and then run Thrust away screaming. No <laughs> one. What? Oh, is it that trusty thrust, color now? No. Oh, I trust. Tr- I thought it said thrust. Oh, my mistake. <laughs> no, he's not thrusting. He's he's not trusting either. I also see Vanna White, the letter turner of the RLM channel. Hey, Vanna. She's quite the bot. She is. And Weather Dork thinks she's quite the bot, too. He's always following her, trying to blow wind up her skirt so that, you know, she can, he'll get a, well, move along. Woodman! Hey, Woody. Uh, How you doing? We also got the Phantom is here. Hi, Phantom. The Phantom. the Phantom and CC66 <laughs> oh, is also shit. here. And Cyborg Noodle. <sighs> six, six, yeah. six, six, Mental. Six. You know, that's almost like a rap kind of thing. Oh, I hope not. Yeah, and a Cyborgian Ooh. Noodle. May you be touched by the Cyborgian Noodliness of it all. Now I'm doing the Cyborg Noodle Dance. You guys should really be happy <laughs> that this is not video. You really should, because you, you might just go, dude, seriously, I am Dane Bramaged. Eeyore. <laughs> I need to, Eeyore. I need to run away. Run no. away. 
It's the dark cakes who's Mental. making the bamboo door. Yeah. Out of, dun, dun, out of bamboo. I know. That's way cool. Big I also see end civ. Uh, it is the end see, of civilization yes. as we know it. Oh, very good. It is, it is, it is. It is. Um, <coughs> chicken? Ah, breathe. Okay. Breathe, young one. Breathe. 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 Ha. Mm, lurky. Is that Lurky 12? Yep. Whoa. You damn right. This I didn't know you could read in, uh, what do you call that, Roman numerals? How clever of yeah. you. Yeah. It's mm. like you're almost getting to be like popular status. That's right. I'm going to take over religion and start my own thing. Rely, Gion. Rely, Gion. Yeah. Rely and lie and lie. You Matt know there are three w kinds J of falsehoods G in the world. O o there are lies, G there are damn lies, and there are statistics. statistics. <laughs> you <Boom>. think, <laughs> I knew what you were going to say. I can read your mind Yeah. Oh. like a book. Okay. Is it Matt scary? W.J. Two. Not really. You don't frighten me. <laughs> you know who frightens me? Who frightens you? Nobody. Oh, okay. Because I was going to say it could be Matt WJ no. 2002 because Matt no. WJ is no. just not very frightening. No. And Papa Papa Pawn Sauce, well, you know, I'm not real sure what Pawn Sauce is yet. And I don't think I want to know, so I'm not appeared at <laughs> Yes, Jim. And ha. And SLC Mikey. Hey, here. Mikey's back. Yeah, I seen him Mikey, earlier. Mikey, it's Mikey. He was he doing that it. mechanical jibber jabber about his freaking car part. Oh. That's right. Because he. Got a part Shoing. that he can't use, but it's, oh, man. but he got it for free. So, <laughs> uh, well, you know, a free part Long that you story. can't use is still a free part that you can't use. So, yeah. smartass, smart I know I'm being a smartass. <laughs> the smartest smartass in the world. And you're very good Just at it. You know. And looky there, the holiest Roger ever. Oh, ami, 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 Roger. Ami, ami. Do you hear the chanting? No. Oh, ew. now I hear it. No, I don't want to hear it anymore, though. Oh, no, though. that's Wizard of Oz. Um, <laughs> yeah, she's out the crew. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Knowledge is so underrated. <laughs> okay, z -picks. Well, But, you know, what? random superfluous nonsense running Ooh. through your mind and then hopping out your mouth because there is no clutch. <sighs> that, that is the problem. It's quite fun. Yeah. You know, that's fun because it's... Yeah. It's a blast to see the look on people's faces. You know, you know what I call the dork table today. We found Waldo. This is the episode you're listening to now because we, we found, found him. him. And you know where he was? Where? Everywhere. Oh, I thought maybe yeah. he was Jesus. No. Everybody's always either. Have you found Jesus? Have you found Waldo? They're in the bar, they're sitting well, over in the corner, they're playing a game of dominoes, and they're just kind of ignoring you, sorry asses, because, thank you, baby Jesus. Well, you know what that's always amazed me about America is it's such a Jesus-loving fucking country, and my people don't care about Jesus. My people kind of like go, hey, fuck him. Well, prick. So, why do all these American people in religion bow to my people? So cool. I don't know. You know what? Mm. You know what I heard what? the other. Oh, it's been probably. Well, it's been a while back because well, I haven't been here to do this. But there was someone that was doing research on on biblical stuff and and like Jerusalem and you know uh, Solomon's Temple and and all of this other fun stuff. And they said that Jesus was not actually the one. It was John the Baptist. <laughs> Change stories, yeah. But, yeah, but, but the reason why they went, because John the Baptist is the one that, that um, baptized Jesus, and according to the story, but, but the deal was that they were both, you know, from royal lineage, yeah, and yeah. they were, you know, they were cousins, yeah. and yet... They didn't want people realizing that John the Baptist was actually the one that taught Jesus a lot of things. And they didn't know. want people to start equating John the Baptist with, you know, a prophet, which, huh. yeah. Me? Kind of, sort of was. Yeah. I did it. It was all and my idea. They, 
they had a story that they wanted to tell, and they had to warp it just a skosh. Just a skosh. Not a skosh. Oh, man. Okay, they they did a lot of creative editing. Yeah, they know, rewrote the whole of, fucking story and lied. Well, a lot of people don't of realize, you know, they but, say, oh, well, the Bible was translated from Latin. Uh, yeah, uh, Hebrew. <laughs> did not speak Latin. Jesus spoke Aramaic. But the Bible, Bible was written in... in uh, the Old Testament you know what? was written in Hebrew. You know what, though, besides the religious class I don't really need, I was making uh-huh. a little joke, and you just went all rampagey on me. I know you I know, did, but it I was got, like everybody got, sits there and goes, thank you, baby Jesus, pray for Jesus. You know, I, right. and I heard this from someone else as well. Right. You know, if Je- when Jesus comes back, is Jesus coming back? I don't know. We're wait- holding this table and can't hold it for too much longer. But when he comes back, do you really think he's going to walk up to people and go, thank Boom. you very much for wearing that reminder of how I was killed? Ooh. That makes me feel ever so welcome. I don't know. Really? I don't Seriously, know. you're going to go around wearing a cross? I think it's a Yeah, Jesus is going to come back and say, okay, I'm traumatized enough. Seriously, stop it. Yes. Okay, you, you I, I'm, the, I'm done. Are you with sure? Jesus. Wow. No, no. Uh, I just, <laughs> I still just am in, in shock and awe of the lack of knowledge that religious people truly have about their religious beliefs. They only know the shit they want to know, and then they stop learning. Because <laughs> if you follow that whole shit through, you go, no, I ain't doing this. What, are you some well, you kind know, of saddest? Hey, there's, there's rules in there. There's a lot of people that, you know, they get taught that you should not question the word of God. Well, I keep, you know, especially, of course, back in the day, I questioned, I grew up Catholic, and back in the day, I would ask the nuns and I got tired of getting my hand smacked with a ruler I used to ask them so what about the babies that you know die before they're baptized or the the stillborn babies and stuff oh they go to purgatory forever what what kind of god does that to babies the kind the kind that gets a lot of support from idiots that believe that kind of shit is good the kind that goes around smiting people and the kind that demands that you sacrifice in this world is all supposed to be suffering. Bullshit. Mm-hmm. We're supposed to be having fun here. And that's what I'm doing. I'm having fun. And yeah. if you hear a... It's because old Kaboom said, okay, that's enough fun Ooh. at my expense. Wow. <laughs> Boy, you're on fire tonight. Who lit your butt up? Mm-hmm. Well, I have not been on the radio for a while. And oh, I, you know, just been good. building up. Ah, I see. Well, good. I'm glad it's me that's here doing it with you, because I would be missing this. <laughs> Watching yeah. an NIB right here on the RLM. You you know something else? Mm-hmm. What? Something else? What? Because I I'm I'm random thoughting today. Mm-hmm. I don't. That's what happens oh, when I'm okay. out in the garden. Ah, and, okay. And I wrote this a while ago, and I thought, you know, I need to bring this back up. And so I'm just going to read it right now, because seeing as how I was still eating when we started. <laughs> Excuse me, I got choked up. Welcome, welcome, one and all, to the Karma Cafe, where all your words and deeds create the menu just for you. Whether you like your food tender and sweet, or your karma is just a wee bit salty and crisp, how about a little sour and chewy, <laughs> or maybe bitter and tough? <laughs> We've got you covered, wow. wagon. So, oh. sorry, huh. no return. Whoa. Once an order has been placed, oh. your only option is to sit down and eat it. Ooh. So, yes, ma'am. deal with okay. karma. Stop it! You're hurting me! <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? What's got my attention what? this week? <clears throat> What's that? I have seen these uh, movies productions, okay, called Plandemic One, and now there's a Plandemic Two. And being as I agree with all this shit in the first place, it's not e- real hard for me to get sold on it, right? But uh-huh. I opened up two today on uh, my Minds account, and as soon uh-huh. as it started playing, it vanished. Poof, it's gone. Poof, like that. Right? But it's magic. No, Hockey. there's more magic because 
as soon as you take the shit down, there's another monkey out there waiting to put it right back up again. <laughs> Sweet. So now it's it, like, nanny, yeah, nanny, boo, boo. Yeah, it's like, all right, pull it down. We'll put it right the fuck back up. And they'll find sneaky ways to title shit so it'll slow the AI down and it, uh, it needs to be found by a real life form. So there's hope huh? out there. Oh, we're, we're doomed. I mean, not me and you, we. The we I'm speaking of is the collective. But the singular, the individual that stays the fuck out of this dramatic bullshit story about a COVID virus, stay away from all that shit. And you'll survive it, okay? Because they're trying to kill us. That's my decision. I'm standing firm on that particular idea, Miss Mary. What do you think of that? <laughs> well, I'm thinking Georgia Guidestones. But never, I never. Okay, I've never read the George. I've read of this thing, but I've never read them because I don't give a flying fuck about what people write. It doesn't change my reality. It changes well, yours, I'd maybe, but. I'm still the same. One of the first things that I mean, the rest of it, I can I can pretty much go along with because mm -hmm. you know it's living sustainably and all this other fun, getting back to nature. I don't have a problem with that shit. Okay. But right at right at the very beginning, they say we want to get the world population down to about 500 million people. How are we going to do this? Oh wait, mandatory vaccines. Hey. There you go. That's how they're gonna do it. Uh, all right. But they, well, they said it right on the Georgia Guidestones. They they will never so. they will never make it mandatory, but they will do the um the shot. The shot will be a reality, but it won't be a mandatory thing. You'll you'll have a choice. And then it's if not you in the U.S., well, but there's what? other countries that are saying they're gonna make it like Australia and New Zealand. They're they're like balls to the wall. Let's do this shit. Wow. Are Seriously, you? they're freaking crazy down there. Okay. I feel so, sorry for Mary B. Oh, Australia, yeah, I know. Yeah. It, but see, it's been strangling her for years. Yeah. She saw this whole thing falling apart way back. Remember, and in, in as the worse it got there, she got more in, uh, introverted, doesn't oh, really yeah. associate with people anymore. Well, that's what this whole hoax, my the thing I call a hoax, is supposed to do it's supposed to weaken us so we give up and say fuck everybody in just sit alone and you know uh wear your mask and don't do anything fuck you i'm gonna go out and live my life just like i always did and and when and when and if the danes want to go along with this bullshit i'm not gonna <laughs> all right me and circ have already kind of don't see eye to eye to my resistance but it's with me, it's more a matter of principle than who the fuck are you to tell me I got to cover my face? What? What? You know? Who? What? It, no, doesn't work that way where I'm from. Yeah, you know, I always thought people that had a mask on their face were bandits or you know terrorists or some such shit. They didn't want you to know who they were. And then you know, with all of this, oh yeah, the. Uh, Kansas City, bless their hearts. Human trafficking experts are concerned about misinformation spread by conspiracy group. Uh -huh. QAnon. Oh yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all those QAnon people, mm -hmm. they're gonna they're gonna peaceful protest. Really? <laughs> really? Yeah. You see some peaceful protesting going on like the peaceful protesting we've seen lately? <laughs> Bet your sweet ass it's not QAnon people. Mm. I, I don't know one not, from the other. Not the ones that I know. And I know a few in person, live and in person, QAnon people. Really? Ooh, yes. That, okay, that must make life more interesting. Actually, one of them was someone that um, I met her through work, and she told me, you really need to check it out. Huh. You really need to check this out. You don't have to believe everything. Because it basically tells you, think for yourself, do your own research. Well, so. how many people do you think actually physically go through the, the hassle of doing that? Because it's so much easier to watch the news and believe the news and just say, I saw it on the news. I'm smart. Yeah. 
See, that's yeah. Or what they, they do. say, "Well, we're order followers." Oh, really? Well, I'm happy for you. I don't hear a lot of that. I accuse people of it often, but I don't. I don't get a lot of people saying that out loud where I hear it. I'd be. Uh, I've ooh, heard it from who? Or should I? Shall I keep it confidential? <laughs> from my oldest daughter. Oh. When she and I got into a little verbal tête-à-tête yeah. about masks. Yeah. Okay, so I said I won't wear one. Right. Well, it doesn't take a lot of intelligence to read a little bit, or you know what? Just even better than that, wear one, but run a mile. And if you yeah. survive that fucking mile, then wear it all the fucking time. You're a superhero. But other than that, regular people would not even be probably make the first. I don't know, 20 or 30 steps? You can't breathe in a mask. See, we, See, we me, exhale for a reason, people. For those of you in the yeah. reallibertymedia.com chat that are kind of like against the idea of uh, this is a hoax, they believe all this crap, why in a world would somebody give you medical advice that tells you to shut down your breathing ability? So that what? So you can get stronger? In some kind of mental place? What the fuck are they talking about? I'm confused, Mary. I am I am confused as well. And you know what? That was another one of those things that yesterday, as I was doing some chores... That's my phone. No, You're very phony. <laughs> I didn't know you were so phony there, little missy. Uh, I am so phony. I am, I am. Okay, where I were was, we though? I, where were we though? Yeah. We were talking about you know this faux virus and all this other fun shit. And yesterday I got to thinking, you know, as above, so below, and as mm-hmm. in the micro, so in the macro. Ah, yes. So when you look at the human body, there are millions, if not billions, or even trillions wow. of bacteria <laughs> surviving on your body and inside your body. Oh, right, right now, in, and, in all yeah, your orifices. Both of them are. Yeah, both yep. of them are beneficial or and or detrimental. Yep. And um, each type adapts to whatever environment it finds itself in, and it lives out its existence, rarely giving or this. I've never talked to a virus, so I don't or a bacteria, so I don't know for sure. But just from my perspective, mm. they rarely give any kind of thought about what it's like living in a different environment. So. When you think about that and you realize we've got little bacteria all over our body and all over inside of our body and, and our DNA is actually 95 to 90, not 95, excuse me, 45 to 47 percent viral in nature. Oh. You stop and you think about these things and then you go, now, okay, if that is so with us, then what if we, as an human beings, and the animals and the fungus of the world and the plants of the world are all basically little bacteria and viruses living on planet Earth. And planet Earth is actually a living entity, and we are the critters that she's trying to decide, are you beneficial or are you detrimental? Do I need to take something to get rid of your ass, or do I need to... Make sure that you do well while you are surviving on my planet, my body, my skin, my surface, under the surface. Yeah, but they're giving them all the opposite advice of what's healthy to combat a bogus story that's not real. Oh, and there was there was some doctor thing, and I don't I don't know if it was just a stupid ass meme or what. Hmm. It was a meme, but. Apparently, some that some supposed doctor posted, and he said that um, boosting your immune system will not help you, hmm. or trying to eat well to boost your immune system will not actually boost your immune system. What? You what? need to have vaccines. Oh no 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 no! That's just and I thought, shit. who the hell is this moron? Right. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Obviously, you know the day when they studied Hippocrates. He wasn't there. Man, you know, Hippocrates, somewhere. the one that yeah. said, let food be thy medicine and yeah. medicine be thy food. Yeah. 
bada bing, bada boom. Is, is it, this guy didn't go to school that day. Is it not frightening you, Miss Mary? I am terrified. Help, help. Oh, I am man. not terrified. I just want to go up and just smack some people. Okay, well, well, and I, I think, no, nah, that would hurt my hand. Okay, no, so. we're looking at the same exact idiots fucking life up equally for everybody, right? Me and you. Yes. Okay. And am I missing something? Uh, no, I don't think so. It's mm -hmm. just that you know, idiots will be idiots no mm -hmm. matter what you say or do, mm -hmm. and so you just kind of got to go. Okay. If it comforts you to think that way, you just go right ahead, go right ahead thinking that way, oh, and okay. I will just, well, I will just be over here thinking my way, yeah. and ignoring your sorry ass okay, until well, you get in my face, and then you know it's like, okay, your opinion is just like religion. <laughs> I'm glad that you're proud of it. I'm glad you've got one. <laughs> but you know what? They're also like penises. If you start waving it in my face, we're going to have an issue. Oh, wow. So. Slow down there. Well, <laughs> I'm in Denmark. No, I, don't, I, I don't care, you know. If it's, it's great to have your opinion. I have my opinion, and it's mine. Mm. And I do share it, but nobody has to take it. I just share it. Oh. But, the, you know, when other people tell me, this is my opinion, and you must now believe it, too. Oh, really? Are, are you, really? Are you spending a lot of time on Facebook? No, I'm not, actually. I'm not. I'm not... I have not been spending a whole lot of time on, you know, I I log into things in the morning and then sometime around lunchtime I check and then sometime in the evening I check and and other than that it's like I'm I'm busy. Uh, okay, well, you know, maybe you need to take just a little bit of a break like right now. <laughs> breathe. No, breathe, no, breathe. no, no, no. You you do whatever you want to do. That's that wasn't the point. The point was is I've got your best interest at heart, so I know when you're wound up, and you're wound up. <laughs> well, you're like yeah. a ninety-eight cent top right now, little missy. <laughs> Whee! Oh, yeah. remember those tops that when you spin them really fast, mm -hmm. they they go. Hoo! Yeah, we're poorly something. <laughs> I was a, going on inside my head right now. I was a little boy once. I had toys. You was? Yeah, years and years ago. And I had toys and shit like that. Played with little games. Now I'm a grown man now. You know what I do? I play my little games on the internet like an adult. <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, like a five-year-old because most five-year-olds can run a computer now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my grandchildren help me with my smartphone because... <laughs> Anyway, you, okay. I'm you, not as smart as my smartphone. Sometimes. You have managed to hit the Georgia Guidestones, and then I went to the Plandemic 2, and I want to see how long it, it'll even stay on the... You open the damn thing, and it zap, it's gone. It's very weird how the, how the uh, YouTube works. I think it's a YouTube origination. I might be wrong. Ah, anyway. So then we went to medical environments, and you were talking so quickly... Miss Mary. All right. Mm, well, uh -huh. okay. I just wanted to let you know that you were you lost me in the speed. You know, I followed the ideas. I'm sorry. But I couldn't keep, okay, so, yeah, couldn't keep a pace. So what do you me. want me to repeat and repeat? Well, more. it would be more like not so much repeat anything as to expand on certain ideas, right? Okay. Okay, like medical environments. I wonder how many people listening have ever used that, those two words together. I don't think I have. I never have. Till right now. Okay, then, are we creating something new to talk about, or did you trip over this, this already exists, and, and you're just kind of explaining how you see it? Because the term makes perfect sense, but I'm not uh, I'm not into medicine or any of that. So I don't spend a lot of time paying attention to this particular kind of thing. Well, see, medical environment can actually mean multiple things because it can be homeopathic. It could be, um, you know, energy healing, light healing, which uh, apparently there's a place out in Denver that does that now, you know, with uh, frequencies and light. Mm -hmm. And um, yep. they also do CBD oils and, and other you know, actually things that you have to take internally. Mm -hmm. But most of it is like frequency mm -hmm. stuff or light therapy. 
Well, all so the, you've got that kind of, and everybody says, "Oh, that's so new agey." Excuse no, me. no, no. See, all the medical Lots of this stuff was was you know ancient. Okay, yeah. Fuck, well, it, it was ancient, and yet it was reintroduced the end of the 19th century and beginning of the 20th century. And then those people that were reintroducing it, or you know, getting out there and updating actually using it, it, yeah, yeah, using this technology. Well, the Rockefeller Medicine mm -hmm. um, decided that we can't have this because we're we're working on an allopathic that's a big money maker for us, and so we can't have this stuff that it only costs you fifty cents to fix yourself, and then you don't have to come back. You know, where's our repeat customer base? So all of those people got destroyed one way or another. Some of them actually got. Like physically, they are no longer among the living, destroyed. So, and then all of the all of the notes that they had, all of their equipment, everything. Either, well, it, we lost it all in a fire, or it got broke into, and well, it was a total loss because they got everything. You know, so there's there's lots of different, you know, um, medical environments or. Okay. Med yeah. I, I prefer medicinal environments because, oh. you know, some there is, there are some things, you know, modern technology that are beneficial. But for the most part, the other stuff, the natural stuff, what's been here since the beginning or evolved on this planet, however you want to look at it, right along with us, yeah. that stuff, if it didn't wake, we wouldn't be here to be having this discussion. Hmm. Well, and that's. That's an argument I've had with people before. It's like, you know what, honey, you can believe in your allopathic medicine all you want. And I do see it has a purpose at some times. But for the most part, prevention, an ounce of prevention <laughs> is worth a pound of cure. Uh, please, not always. Maintenance, well, no, maybe. Sometimes. Prevention yeah. is paranoia with a bow. Maintenance well, is something you do to, to keep something functioning properly. Yes, I'm just Which voicing is also my called opinion. Prevention, because mm. you know, if you if you take preventative measures, i.e., it's a weak maintain word. Maintain the body, okay. maintain your car, maintain your house. You know, when you maintain things, yeah, then you don't need to work. See, then it, you're just being redundant at this point. I just prefer the other word. Well, um, being a word a, snob, yeah. Miss Mary, don't don't get all I know knicker knotted over it. Well, when you when you talk with medical people, yeah. you have yeah. to say preventative measures. <laughs> okay, I have a good because that's I have a, their lingo. Got a really good question for you, though. Okay. When did medicine for profit become acceptable? Because, and I wanted to say it like this too, because I was born in 1959, and my folks were poor. Period. They didn't have any money. I'm, so, back in the day when I was born, it wasn't expensive to have a kid. You know. Oh yeah, I got to see the receipt from when I was born. Okay. My mother still had it. <laughs> what, what? What? So, what were you worth on paper? <laughs> Did you got a receipt? You must have had a value. <laughs> Seventy nine like ninety nine. <laughs> well, it was seven days in the hospital, and you know me. Um, I think it was like two hundred thirty-four dollars. And in those and that's days, with mom being in the hospital for seven days. Yeah, and at a buck sixty an hour, which was the minimum wage or whatever at the time. But actually, it, it was lower than that back then. But yeah, well, it was enough. enough to whatever it was. It was enough for my folks. My dad worked for Ford, and Ford was always ahead of the uh, pay thing. Uh -huh. Ford always paid better than minimum. Whatever minimum was, you aren't gonna. You you don't got to sweat that shit up at Ford, so it you know for the uneducated guy that could work with his hands, it wasn't a bad job to have. Yeah, but by no means was medical for profit in the the day I was born. It hadn't got to that level yet. They worked on this for a long time. Yeah, okay. I don't remember who who it was that. Oh, I remember reading some something about this, but. Mm -hmm. It's not, not popping into my head as okay. to when, when it became 
that hospitals could be for-profit entities. To our listening crowd out there that gets into this kind of weird research, there's something in the notes there for you to re, you know go back to so you know what you're looking for if you want to follow it up. Because we're going to talk about all kinds of crazy shit tonight. <laughs> yeah. Me and Mary yeah. are on fire. Sweet. Well, I just thought I'd throw a little um, commercial yeah. in there. Because I found Waldo. I'm so happy about, you know that? I, now that I know it, I'm, I'm like relieved. I'm not going to really miss America as much as I thought I was going to. Because I found Waldo. You found Waldo. Well, yeah. You know where you know, Waldo I, was? I still have people ask me, have you found Jesus? Yeah. That's... And I tell them I didn't know he's missing. Right. But Waldo was everywhere. Waldo is everywhere. everywhere. So is Je- so is Jesus. But don't tell those people that are looking for him. Yeah. Because he's hiding from them. Yeah, but see, my people don't even believe he ever, well... We don't believe the same story about the guy that you, that the uh, Catholics or the Christians. That's it, or like the Muslims. They got a whole nother fucking story. So ah, you know what this whole thing is? All this religious crap. It's just a way to group up on other people and get money. See, and I just I I see religion as another control mechanism. That's just. Pretty much all it is. It's used to control. You must believe this way. You must act this way. You must dress this way. You must not associate with the people over there. They are evil and vile. Okay, well, look. People. When 60 million people follow the same freaking religion and decide to show off, unite, <laughs> that's a lot of people. I mean, that's more people that... There's Rolling Stones concerts that weren't that big. <laughs> Never mind. That was a Rolling Stones yeah. joke. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, did it gather any moss? I don't think <laughs> so. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. <laughs> Zip, zang, pow. To the moon, Alice. To, to the me. moon. Huh. To the moon, Alice. That's what. My name is not Alice. That's what Cramden used to always say. Ralph Cramden would say that to Alice. Because mm. can you imagine <clears throat> the TV shows that we grew up watching couldn't even get funded to go to a production now? Because <laughs> oh no, people would be offended <laughs> and would not watch them. <laughs> they wouldn't find any of that uh, humorous. Like oh dear lord, can you imagine them watching Archie Bunker nowadays? Yeah, Red Fox. Yeah. Man, when he did Sanford and Son, that was he was nasty. <laughs> he treated his uh, his sister in law like dog, <laughs> calling uh-huh. her names, and her too. The the characters were well. If you put them on TV now, people wouldn't be entertained. They've been mushified. I think something something got broke. Now they're yes. they're running around wearing masks, telling other people, "I'm going to burn my city down, so you'll fix it." <laughs> this is yeah. this is the best of of what is possible in 2020. Jury and this is <laughs> I'm sorry, Mary, but all these things one on top of the other are just it's hysterical. You got the dollar crash. You got the election coming up. You got like 30 major cities from coast to coast rioting. <laughs> See and. I just, I see all of this <laughs> United stuff States. <laughs> so well, and I just look at it, you know, everybody's going, 2020 sucks. And I go, okay, yeah. Why? Oh, it it, it sucks, time. Purple Donkey. No, it does I agree with you on that one. I don't. And yet, okay. Cam- Kamala, I'm sure, is happy as hell because it's sucking Purple Donkey dick. Ouch. But I digress. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's, 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 I see uh, it as a life lesson. You know, people... <laughs> It's like uh, I'd seen something about um, dreams and how a lot of times dreams, especially dreams that you remember, they're trying to you know help you process what came in throughout the day and try and help you get your house in order in your head, that is. And, yeah, good luck with that with me. But 
Okay. Sometimes if you if you have recurring dreams and the dreams keep getting more vivid and keep, you know, like getting more scary or getting more outlandish or whatever, the reason why you're having that recurring dream is because you're not dealing with whatever the it's trying to tell you to deal with. And I think that's what's going on in 2020. I think we're all having one hell of a dream going on here. This is like a mass delusion, hallucination kind of thing going on. And obviously, we have been told and told, I tell you so, and I tell you so, and I tell you so. How many times do I have to tell you? You know, the mom thing. Yeah. We've been told throughout the years, oh. this is the shit that's going on. Huh. This is what's happening. But no, Lucy, you didn't want to listen. And so now, it's all getting dumped on us in one year. And it's going to say, you 2020 hindsight? Yeah, buddy, you're going to look back at this shit and you're going to go, some bitch, I survived 2020. Hmm. And I learned something. Hmm. I learned never to go back to 2020. <laughs> wow. But I really, th I really think this is the universe's way of saying, y'all just ain't flat ass paying attention to what's going on around you. And you need to start paying attention. Uh, you need to start doing something instead of just pissing and moaning and groaning and whining about my life sucks and I need reparations and you need to you need to use a proper pronoun and I feel off ended. Yeah, well, you keep it up and Mother Earth is going to shake your ass off the planet. Wow. So where where I, did all that come from? It, it come it come from that little me that's running around inside my head, yeah. holding a big sign that says "The end is nigh." The end is nigh, and then on the back side of the sign it says, "And the beginning is right after it." And that's what you need to do. You know, there's going to be an end to some bullshit going on here, but there's also going to be a beginning because mm. there's always a beginning after the ending. That's just kind of the way this reality works. Every time you have an ending, there's another beginning. We need to get our shit together and decide what kind of beginning are we going to want to have. Are we going to have one where people like Shrillery and Creepy Uncle Joe are the ones calling the shots? Or do we want to call our own shots and actually act like decent human beings towards each other? Well, aren't you a dreamer? I'm, You're in dreamland. I'm, Yes, I am in dreamland, but I'm thinking the universe keeps sending this to us and telling us, y'all ain't paying attention. Yeah. Come well. on. Get off your ass and do something, even if it's just be nice to your neighbor. Mm. That puts a positive vibe out there. So okay. I know I'm I'm off on a tangent. Well. I told you my clutch is burned out, so if it runs across my brain, out yeah. it falls. There you go. That's right. Don't you mess. <laughs> well, anyway, so all that, anyway, all that, all that tells me is that there's uh, there's an uneasiness and a, and a tension in daily life in my fatherland. <laughs> you know, the land where I am from, and yeah, things have definitely changed for the worst, and people are pissed. That's what I read out of it. And see, Even if you. you remember, mm -hmm. years and years ago, uh -oh. How when many I years? first started doing radio, oh. I would say, yeah, when it hits, it's going to hit. Oh, yeah. It's going to hit yeah. big. Yep. Called but that it's going to mainly be in the big city. Absolutely. Well, because small populations, what the fuck? What, what's there? <laughs> That's the whole point well, of not being in a big city right now. And well, and if you shit. live in a small area yeah. or a sparsely populated yeah, area, yeah. odds are everybody knows each other, and they ain't going to put up yeah. with no shit. No. Uh-uh. Nope. And, but you I know, They'll did... come right up to your door and say, listen, some bitch, okay. I saw what you did. But this at, shit ain't going. At the beginning of the hoax, back in, what was it, like February or March, somewhere in there, when the government got involved, and started uh -huh. shutting businesses down. Yeah. That okay, well, that set panic on people. So, hmm. But I think uh I think the last couple of months have showed them that nah, cuz we're right next to store to Sweden. And Sweden didn't bother with none of the shit. We're right next door to Germany and Germany did. 
And Germany is still up in fucking arms about which way to go about this shit. So they're just using the force of do it in in, in any, you know, <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> it's fucking yeah. miserable. Wow. But I don't live like that. I, I'm in a like a neutral zone. <laughs> Something. And you know... You know, when I first heard all of this shit going down and non-essential people would not be allowed to go to work, and I thought, oh, this could get interesting. Oh, yeah, interesting. Let's see what they classify as non-essential. You know, and when I saw liquor stores were classified as essential. (laughs) Wow. But But grocery stores, you had to be careful, and you had to stand on that X. Fuck you, I ain't standing on that X. I've watched Wiley Coyote and Roadrunner. I ain't standing on no X. (laughs) Or um, beauty salons. Seriously? Uh, Seriously. Okay. That's Mary. Miss Lady Lisa B. is a very yeah. dear friend of oh, mine. Yeah. And I got to yeah. tell you, yeah. there are some of her clients, uh, they need oh. that Lisa B. time. Yeah. Because she kind of sort of slaps them back into reality while she's doing the beautify thing. Oh. Because Lisa doesn't pull any punches. You think I'm bad. You should listen to Lisa. Where, where did <laughs> all the... When we're together. Where but, did you know, all the freedom all people, go, Mary? Do, do you have well, it? Well, free, the freedom went away when people acquiesced. When people said, oh, okay, it must be for our own good. Okay, so Walmart could stay open. That was okay. But mom and pop stores, no, you can't stay open. Uh Um, liquor stores could stay open Planned Parenthood could stay open but churches no we can't have churches why and although I have a problem you know with organized religion Mm -hmm. I do understand that some people need that freedom of fellowship It's called freedom of religion for a reason yes don't have to like it I don't I don't have to like your freedom to be a lunatic that believes in a thing in the sky or whatever you believe in I could believe in a doorknob for all you know. I mean, it's all bullshit anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? It doesn't matter what you tell people. What what matters is what's real. <laughs> and that shit all just a matter of thinking. There's no physical action you can do that proves any of that shit. You're just either agreeing with what somebody tells you or you're not. Yeah. But see, to me, hmm. I just... After the first two weeks, it was like, this is bullshit. This is good. They're going to drag this shit up. <laughs> and I kept thinking, what? non-essential workers. So yeah. there would be people in the government that would get laid off. All of them. Oh, silly me. I had that independent thought. Two million of those freaking federal workers. Maybe more by now. It was two million when, last time I read whatever the statistic was. Well, they haven't laid any off out in this neck of the woods. Well, maybe but, uh, maybe zombies will eat them. But then again, you know, we <laughs> are in a sparsely populated area, and people run on skeleton crews out here. In other words, mm. you wear multiple hats, mm-hmm. you know, so it's oh, not yeah, like the big yeah, city. Yeah. I'm not supposed to staple papers because that's not part of my job description. You have to go to desk number 43 slash A. Mm. To get your paperwork stapled. Mm. Did you sign it in triplicate? Well, now uh, you have to go back to desk 21 slash EG yeah. and sign it in triplicate. I mean, seriously, some of this stuff, I... It's abusive. I have siblings that live in, you know, like Wichita and Lawrence and, mm. and just outside of um, Denver. And it's mm. like, are you kidding me? You have to go through that damn many hoops? Mm-hmm. Shit, takes me 10, 15 minutes to take care of business, and I'm out of there. Whoa, zip, zip, zoom. Well, yeah. you got to understand, Mary, this COVID is so the Fed can control everything. Yeah. That's all. It's just, it's the perfect story to make the thing work, is all. They, well, could, they couldn't do this with force. They don't have the manpower to do it, do it by force, but they have the manpower to threaten to. They have the manpower and they have the media to get people to police each other. Because, yeah, remember when they did Boston? That was just one city. So you can't stretch the military that thin. There's 3,000 miles wide, 1,500. It's huge. The United States is a big piece of land. And then the other shit that's not even connected to the mainland. How do you police all that? 
you, you can't. Your you neighbors, convince yeah. the people that they need to police each yeah, other. Yeah, they do, they're doing and it. That's, that, that's, I know, like and Nazi it's just freaking sad. You know, you get mask Nazis out there. You gotta wear a mask. Well, if the mask works, what are you worried about? You're yeah. wearing one. Yeah. You should be detected from me. Yeah. If it doesn't work good enough to detect you, and you think there needs to be another mask, where to? <laughs> and yet, yeah. and yet. What? 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 These masks that are supposed to protect them. Yeah. And this, this is where I think the public education thing fails. Was yeah. was a long range plan, you know, because they started getting into this other shit that they started teaching mm -hmm. instead of sticking with the basics. Yeah. Your science, your math. You're reading, yeah. you know, things along those lines. Yeah. No, they started getting into all kind of other weird ass shit. TV. And yes, you do need to have art and music, but because those help develop your brain. Mm. But mm. when they don't teach certain things, like years ago when mm. they first started talking about carbon being a bad greenhouse gas mm. and mm. trees moving away from homes that <sighs> use so much electricity that they're producing lots of CO2 and the tree moves away because because it might starve or die. I think I learned in ninth grade science class mm. that plants breathe in CO2 and exhale oxygen. Mm. Obviously, they don't teach this anymore. Well, That's part of the public education right, system, a long-range plan. Just like they don't have government classes anymore. Neither one of my girls had government classes, you know, where you actually learn the Constitution mm -hmm. and you learn the process that the government is supposed to work on. They don't teach that shit anymore, which is why they've gotten away with so much stuff, because nobody knows the process that it was supposedly lined out to be like. Mm -hmm. And so everybody's going... Oh, well, they're the government. Well, the federal government has rule over everything. Uh, excuse me. No, <laughs> rule actually. Rule over everything. That's not the way it's no, supposed to be. Sure but, ain't. Hey, you know, Patriot so, Act. Remember? Yeah. 9 11. And, and how did they get away with that shit? They got away with it because people don't know. That's right. But they think they know. That's even right. They think they're edumacated, yes. but they have not been taught a few key elements. Mm. Yes, so yes ma'am. And then when you try and teach them something and you what? whip out books, like yeah. you whip out the Constitution and say, here, read this. Yeah. Just check yeah. this shit out. Just that. Yeah. And then they go, dude, seriously? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it's just, yeah. It makes, well, it makes me crazy sometimes. I, I understand your insanity to a degree. Yes. Well, I, sh I think I share some of it because I have my own strange way of looking at the world, too. You know? Yeah. And I don't think that all of us see the same freaking thing. I think we, we talk about it like we do, but we really don't. Yeah. Hmm. It's too big to be real. It's it's not necessary, but it takes up a lot of our uh, attention. You know, we pay a lot of attention to this global crap, and it's just a bunch of shit to sell you. At, you know, some product. It's marketing, and if you allow it, then that's what you do. And if you don't, then you stand on your own two feet. But most people just bow to authority and. They just give it a big old smooch right on the butt and do what it says. Without, yeah, well, yeah, but, because they don't realize mm. that they have authority granted unto oh. them by their creator, oh, thanks, by sir. virtue of being Ooh. here. No, I, I don't. It shouldn't even be dealt with on. That shouldn't even be an issue. Common it fucking should. sense. I started the show out saying this. Common sense tells you. Don't cover your mouth when you're running. You won't be able to breathe. So, hey, you know, you exhale for a fucking reason, people. And it and it's got something to do with having good health. You breathe yeah. in the, all of it, and then your body separates all this shit out, and then you blow some of it back out. 
Well, when yeah, you, in with the good, yeah. out with the bad. So when you cover your face with a mask, think about it. <laughs> if you need well, it to be explained, then it, it's you're beyond help. It's all there is to and it. And see, that's another thing. Even doctors, and I think, my God, you guys are supposed to be medical professionals. Wow. Supposed to be. Mm-hmm. And yet you don't realize that that mask is not going to stop a virus because viruses are smaller than the holes in that mask. And mm-hmm. if you actually wore a mask yeah. that was able to stop a virus, if you don't have some kind of oxygen tank <laughs> on you, you're dead. Uh, you betcha. You need a full-fledged but, aqua lung to go to Walmart to be totally safe. And there, in the first place, there's nothing to fear from a flu bug. But they did such a great, you know, fear mongering campaign with the the Chinese bat fucking Wuhan flu and actors falling dead in the street. You know, uh, what a performance! They do this shit to us, time after fucking time after fucking time. So you know yeah, what? But you know what? what? Those people falling dead in the street. If yeah, you it was look actors. at what the no, if you look up the side effects of 5G, hmm. 5G uh, fucks with your ability to take in oxygen. And Wuhan was the first province in China to go fully functional 5G. At the same time that the Rona supposedly hit. I read that so as well, people, but how do you, you know? know? People that were keeling over could have possibly yeah. been keeling over because of, number one, they were wearing a mask, so they had limited oxygen intake to start with. Mm-hmm. And then you got all this 5G frequency going on as well. So Yeah, yeah. but you know what I saw the other night? What's that? I saw Denzel Washington fight in slow motion in his mind. And then fight in regular motion and do the fight. So, what I'm trying to say in a really sarcastic way is Uh just because you can put it on film doesn't mean it's true. Oh, I understand that. But there, you know, and just mm -hmm. because there is a lot of fakery out there doesn't Mm -hmm. mean everything is fake. Mm -mm. So. You got to be able to learn to tell, trust your gut. Okay. And so. that's another thing that people have lost is the mm. ability to trust their gut because schooling has taught them what to think, not how to think. Okay, critical mass. Uh. Yes, I am I am critical mass. Um, I'm just saying, yeah, but on the defense, I'm representing the low life dumbass that won't wear a mask for Well, for reasons that I'm in, I'm insulted that other people don't understand why I'm insulted. That you're covering your mouth so you can't exhale, dumbass. There you go. You know yeah, how you suffocate somebody? Exhaling fully. You yeah. put your hand over their mouth. <laughs> and nose. You don't put it over their elbow. You, so why would a human being that really I got to breathe in and out to survive? It's what I my whole life I've been doing this constantly. Now they're going to put a mask on me. What is going wrong here? Why can they not see that there's something fucking wrong with this equation? See, and I see those masks, and the only thing that pops into my mind is a muzzle. Okay, well, I just see a torture. Yeah, and then I see other people with, oh, and I have a sister-in-law that Mm. has it. It is a cool-looking mask, Mm. mainly because, you know, it's supposed to come over your head and go down around your neck so that when you breathe, you're actually breathing, you know, like neck fumes. (laughs) Mm. But she doesn't put it over her head. She just hooks the little loopies to her ears, and so it's like she's got a little... A little veil thing going on. So it, it almost looks like a belly dancer kind of veil when she's wearing it like that. And I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. And now I just need to get the belly dancing costume and I'm sad. But wow. I just, I, I don't, I don't see the need to, to muzzle people. And that's what I see it as. You're either muzzling people or you are smothering them. You're mm. suffocating them. You are removing their humanity. Ouch. Hey, stop that, lady. That, that'll hurt. You'll, you'll, 
you'll you'll make me cry. <laughs> well, and then they say, well, why do right. doctors wear masks? You know why doctors wear masks? It's so that when they are in a uh, emergency situation and they're dealing with blood and all that other fun stuff, so that they are not getting any of their body fluids in someone else's open wound. That's why they wear masks. And so they don't and dribble on the children. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and they wear the face shield yeah. so that they don't get somebody else's bodily fluid yeah, bone in their shards, eyes or yeah. in their... So it's like, that's why they do that. And they throw them away right away. They don't wear them 24-7. They throw them away as soon as they leave the room. Yeah. And guess what? They put them in a hazmat trash yeah there's no such thing that uh, that's a walmart parking lot for these fucking stupid masks this mm -hmm. is the most ignorant i mean of all the fucking ways there were to screw everybody and this is all it took as a collective they're this fucking weak stupid i wouldn't tolerate it well and i do have to admit i did wear a mask mm. i did no my we wife took... my wife is threatened to take my um, shopping privileges away from me <laughs> if, if they go full fledged mandatory mass because she knows I won't do it and I'll get in trouble. So I, I'll well, I'll be I'll, I'll be a prisoner. <laughs> we we uh, took holy my shit. mother out to lunch mm -hmm. and the restaurant you had to wear a mask. Yeah. But you know what was crazy? No. You had to put the mask on uh, before you entered the door. Yeah. Then once you went inside, you could <laughs> take, take it the off. Because <laughs> you're only breathing your own personal air. That six feet around you, out beyond that, it doesn't ever. You never breathe any of that. <laughs> See, too many fucking movies put us in this position, and I've been watching them too, watching old TV shows to see what kind of shit were they trying to pump into my head. But I was out getting drunk and doing you know, smoking pot. And, things like that <laughs> instead so i missed all these tv shows and now that i don't do all that you know running around crap i i can be home and go hey i think i'm going to sit down and watch some old crap from the 90s and see what they were trying to make me uh, believe and it didn't if i had watched it i wonder if it would have worked see i missed all the programming I was See how you not a, are. I was never a TV I movies I like films but not television uh, please no And then there was well, a lot of music too so you know there wasn't all that much TV in, in in the first place but it just uh it it strikes me now that if I would have seen these things then how would they have affected me cuz I missed all of it didn't even know it was happening. <laughs> See how you are. See, well, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't watch Father Knows Best. Now we did watch Leave It to Beaver. But then, you know, most of the time, if the TV was on, it was either Dad in control of the remote, or Little Brother Larry because he cried louder than everybody else. No, and no, if he Mary, wanted to, I, if he wanted to watch Rowdy Yates or whatever, then that's what we watched. No, no, it's and not every about, Saturday it was Lawrence Welk. Not about what you watched. I'm saying that if I had to watch the programming stuff that I'm seeing today, because I can see the programming in it because of the way I think. If I yeah. had to saw this when I was in my uh, in the '90s, I was in my 30s. Maybe they would have affected me at the time. But I got spared of ever seeing it till I'm an old guy. <laughs> and that's what I was trying to make point of. I wonder to I, now if if I had seen it way back then, would I would I still be me, or would it have made me a one of them? I don't know. That's an ifs and buts kind There's of thing. There's heavy programming in movies and TV shows. They uh, they talk. See, when you see a film, you got to remember there's no reason that things got to be um, historically accurate or anything. It's an art form, and sometimes people claim shit that's not true. <laughs> this is historically accurate, and if you followed up on it, you find out no, it's not. <laughs> it's close, but no. So what what I'm bringing up is. 
artistic license is right in front of me constantly, shoving shit in my face. And some part of me just ignores the most of it. Yeah, they 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 call it artistic license. I call it creative editing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically, yeah, sure. So, but your mind, we're are we're brilliant. Human beings are just so fucking. We're held back physically and and nutrients. So our capabilities are really limited. So that we'll put up with this bullshit with masks. Because if you yeah. if you look at all the people that are against it in the real liberty media, without giving anybody a name, we all know who they are, and they're all fairly yeah. intelligent people. So mm -hmm. this is not a matter of intelligence; it's a matter of indoctrination, I think. And I don't know how I got free of whatever indoctrination that would have took me down that road instead of the one I went down. But I think a lot of it has to do with all this art and shit that you, movies and groups, people telling you shit. Because 90% of it doesn't matter. What do I care if China and America go to war? It don't fucking involve me. I'm not fighting anyone. But I, well, had, I had to hear about it the other day. Yay. Hmm? Exactly, but see, that's what I mean. If I don't hear about things, how can they bother me? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. How can it be real if you don't know what's going on? Yeah, they're, well, pretty much out of sight, out of mind. Because I uh -huh. just see these little, you know, little streets I live on here. It's enough. But I do an incredible amount of internet time, and I see a lot of horrible things that I probably shouldn't. <laughs> but I've got the ability to realize I'm not involved in any of that. I'm just reading about something. So, <clears throat> far as it being real, it's real. It's just not real in my reality. Well, it's just a story. See, and and everything that's going on out there is real in somebody's reality. Yeah, but not mine, because I've got a really small reality. <laughs> I know I'm supposed to brag about, hey, lady, I got the biggest reality. You wouldn't believe how huge my reality is. <laughs> but that's not my story. <laughs> I've got a really, well, I got a really small reality. <laughs> Hardly enough room in here for me. I don't know if I want to let you in. <laughs> I've got a reality that is... So out there that even sometimes I question my reality. I've heard that one before. That's a good one, though. When you rip them off, you rip off the good stuff. Because let's question reality. You know what I question? What? Everything. Yes. Yes. Even if I see I it. And I've been experimenting mentally, right? You know how that time where you, you have that voice inside of you that you communicate with? <laughs> if you don't, mm -hmm. you don't. I do. I personally, when I have downtime and I'm alone and I think of things, I think of deep, deep things like, I wonder if I communicated with my cells, I wonder if there would be a response. And then, of course, I'm just thinking all these things, right? Now uh -huh. I'm actually speaking them. It must sound insane. But... No. Okay, well... To a you know to a degree, so as far as normal minded people would not probably think of weird shit like this. That's all I'm saying. It's just a little outside of normal, you know, the average Joe shit. But I believe it's true, and I think my uh, being in in the condition I'm in at my age has a lot to do with me convincing myself I feel okay. <laughs> And see, if you are convinced, then that is true. But then there's an awful lot of people that are convinced that that if I don't wear a mask, I'm going to die. Oh, that again. <laughs> okay. And there are. There oh, are man. There that, you know, if they yeah. don't have that mask on. They've got it all backwards. How sad. Yeah. But, I mean, if you're that unhealthy in the first place that the flu would kill you if you got it. Well, uh what do you do? How do you? How am I supposed to feel about that? I mean, whoa! 
It's a fucked up spot to be put in. See? So what does society do to us? <laughs> see? They've always got us fighting and arguing and disagreeing about something that is a bullshit story in the first fucking place. But for maybe like, what, 2%? <laughs> that 2% is getting all the attention. They always do. Well, it's a squeaky wheel syndrome, yes. But, you know, you stop and you realize they've got people, you know, and even Trump will still skin said it. We're fighting an invisible enemy. So now people are freaking out. Oh, my God, there's an enemy out there, and I can't see it. Yeah. But it's going to get me. But if I wear a mask, it'll leave me alone. Hello, Twilight Zone music. Wow. See, if they're or truly... Or Outer Limits. Okay, and we've been alive, and we've been you know, members of this American thing long enough to know that, <laughs> well... Whatever they tell you, it's not its not quite the truth. Yeah. Okay, well, that that mentality seems to stop at a, some part of history where the kids are believing what they're told. I grew up in a, in a system that was like, hey, fuck the system. No, <laughs> nah, don't get sucked into that system. Da, 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 da. Then the 80s came and it was, well... This system's not so bad. And then the 90s came, and the system's a piece of shit, but it's the only one we got. <laughs> and now, another 30 years later, look at the mess we made out of this. Whew. Yeah. Wow. And you know, a lot of people, I, I know a lot of people say, I didn't do it, I didn't make this mess. Well, did you do anything to stop it? No. Because inaction is also... Yeah. And action. The collective is an idiot. That's I'm part of the fucking collective. Why do you think I don't want to be? <laughs> I would yeah. give my left nipple to not be part of this fucked up collective of complete idiots. You give up a nipple? Yeah, to not be uh, have to live like this. I, I'd like to live the proper way. But no, it's not available to us. And so, not only is it the proper mm, way, mm. people would only have a right nipple. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm, wow. I'm having this. You sure my took that nipple. To, I know. You my went brain way is out there. Just fixating on this. Like, yeah. Okay, he's going to an alternate universe where you don't okay. have to live this way, but you can only have one nipple. <laughs> All right. Here, let me try it a different. Sorry. Here, I'll use another analogy. <laughs> don't give away a ball either, because will, then my mind will go there. <laughs> I would give my left earlobe. You know what I mean? Oh, to, okay. If this was in a perfect world, it would probably make more sense. But uh, in a in a perfect world, we would not be uh, using the products that we use today. My my yeah. personal reality, if if I could share it with the world, it would be almost the complete opposite of what we're doing right now. Well, in the earliest 20th century, mm. early part of the 20th century, spit yeah. it out, yeah. that was when all of that keeping up with the Joneses became a thing. Yes, it became a thing. It became a whole paradigm shift of this is how, you know, because before then, you know, the, for the most part, companies were making things that, you know, and they would advertise, it will last you 30 years. This will last you a lifetime, you know, and that was a selling point, was that this will last you forever. Yeah, it might be pricey, but it will last you forever. And that was a really good selling point. And then the advertising people said, you know, when you advertise like that, you wind up not getting much of a market share because once everybody buys your product the first time, nobody's going to want to buy it again because it lasts they forever. Yep. You need to figure out a way to do planned obsolescence and convince people that, oh, that thing we sold you five years ago that's going to last you forever, that is so last five years. You really need to get with the in crowd and try this one. It'll only last you 10 years, but hey, it's with the in crowd. It's what the Joneses buy. 
you know, and, and so once that mindset caught hold and people started going, but, but I got to have the latest and greatest and newest and most fantabulous, and I'm going to stand in line for three days for the latest iPhone that was built in sweatshops. Wow. But I want to save the world. Ooh. Okay. You know, the, the hypocritical people out there. Mm. I got to, got to, got to have the latest and greatest newfangled thing. Mm. But but we got to stop global warming and climate change. And you're a da- dirty breeder because you drive a car. Mm. Oh, I'm not that bad on people that drive cars. Or I just well, don't want to drive cars. Yeah, and I understand that. And there are purposes for cars. And I mm. I have... I've been putting mine to good use. Absolutely. Look, I'm not against <clears throat> I'm not against people making um trades or this that or the other. I'm against the the way we we operate the commerce. It's they they promise you the moon and they they've got these bullshit stories for you. And then the yeah. reality is something completely different and it's just a horrible trick to play on people. Yeah, they promise you the moon, and then when they when you go to collect on it, they the light bulb burns out, and it's like, oops, guess you need to buy another bulb if you want to have the moon that lights up. Well, I'd I'd sure like to know, like, how the fuck does Nancy Pelosi end up being worth two hundred million dollars on a two hundred thousand dollar a year salary? Her husband, well, and she she gets insider trading information. Okay. I, I was a rhetorical question there. You know, well, and I actually had an answer. I know you did. There. Wow. You go. We think we're in, in a perfect world right now or something. You're so smart. <laughs> uh, that's a smart. <laughs> oh, I don't know. You were planned obsolescencing me right now. I just felt like saying something. I'm done. Well, and you know, the <laughs> government has pretty much planned obsolescence as well. And Whoa. I think that's part of this, you know, part, maybe part of all of this nonsense is Whoa. to say, well, that capitalism and that democracy, that just plain doesn't work. And oh. <laughs> one of those things. You know, uh, people don't realize it, uh, that the United States was supposed to be a republic, uh, which no. is different from a democracy. Well, uh, very much. But you're not taught that either in school. Yeah. In fact, it's like they push, and the educated seem to be pushing that that left wing dem- Democrat side, right? Yeah, but socialism is a much better way to go. But I need to be one of those people making the decisions when it comes to socialism, because you people, you just aren't sharp enough <sighs> to understand the complexities of feeding yourself. Well, yeah, that's because greed overpowers people's common sense. And yeah, it then, does. And, yeah, and then laziness takes part, too, because, you know, when I look at the community I live in as a collective, it seems to function pretty well, pretty fairly. A little bit of, uh, every now and again you hear an ambulance some, when the older people get ill. But uh-huh. hardly any traffic problems, and you've got bikes riding and, you know, people working on the road and driving on it and uh, and these people are still, they are concerned about each other enough to go out of their way not to run, run each other over. <laughs> you know, ah. well, okay, well, have you, have you seen some of these fucking links from America over the last, say, three or four months? Uh, I've seen a few. It's not pretty. It makes me feel bad when I see that. I go, wow, these, these people are, they're fighting each other. On their own same dirt, claiming yeah, claiming to be united. It, it's pitiful. Yeah, it is the ununited states. Something's going to the divided yeah, states of America. Something's going to give. Uh, well, yeah, something's got to give, and that's where I think this is all just kind of. Guess what? what? Planned obsolescence has uh, kicked in. That uh, democracy uh, shit just ain't working. We got to go for socialism. Uh, oh yeah, and then but a lot of people don't realize we're already in socialism. Well, yeah, but it's like socialism light, you know. Yeah. But what? Yeah, but what they got it's, planned it's is a combination of socialism and fascism because yeah. it really is corporations calling the shots. Well, I've read opinions of that go from here to there, and one of them was. The uh, the COVID thing was that's like a distraction from the dollar crashing. 
But what the, what they're going to do is they're going to come back with a digital currency card yeah. for Americans. Yeah. And yeah. you'll be entitled to that if you get Billy Boy's shit, whatever he wants you to have. And yeah, if not... You're going to feel a little prick. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if Billy's got a little prick. But okay, still, he but, is a little prick. Okay, but th- at that point in in the future, the U.S. currency will not be used. People will not take it. And they're already working this one in. That people carry plastic. It's been going on for 50 fucking years, 60 years. All right, yeah. now they're all... The more... Uh, they're, the faster something is, the more convenient it is, the better it is. They're going to get that crowd to push the fucking paper money out completely and control everyone with the card. Yeah. There you go. And if you don't... That's what they're trying to do. Yeah. Okay. Well, see, I come from the day when that didn't scare me. It wouldn't scare me if I was there. I would trade commodities. There's all kinds of commodities you can acquire in the world. Just And that's where I am right now. It's like... Fine, you cut yep. off my monetary. Yep. Okay. I got tradables. No That's right. I've got skills. There's, there's always ways, but the the modern, fast, hurry, you know, instant everything, lazy, they're gonna suffer because they don't they they don't even know how to make a phone call. Yeah. You know the difference between me and my wife is is I I have the, her phone number written down in my wallet on a piece of paper. Uh-huh. Because, I don't know, I don't call it enough to remember it, but I don't use one of those damn phones either that remembers everything for you. So I'm still yeah. in, I'm still using a pen and a paper, trying to, you know, hang on to that bit of past and not get sucked completely into this electronic shit. Because as yeah. much good as it is for me, it's got a bad side too. Oh, yeah. That's be, you know, because of the electricity, in my opinion. But that's a whole nother story. Yeah. I do a show with Larry Woods and Rob Works about electricity and stuff. Of course, they do most of the talking. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know a lot. Yeah. but oh, And I dude. saw yesterday, I think it was, what? that Larry posted something on his Facebook yeah. about magnetism. <gasps> that was, wow, that's very interesting. Isn't it? See, all these nerdy, dorky, egghead-y kind of things. We're we're a group, I'm telling you. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I shouldn't, I, I'm not, I don't think I'm complaining. I was more making, making light of it because people that think they know things don't seem to know very much. And the people that I encounter that tell me, well, I don't really know a lot of shit, people like Larry. <laughs> you, yeah. I mean, I never thought of you as a you know braggart. Eh, some people are a little you know, they're proud of their self or whatever. Eh. Me, I don't. It's, I got a lot of opinions and I I've been places, but what do I fucking know? I think the things that I know would be right in front of me. I could see them, and outside of that, I don't give a shit. You know, <laughs> if I can't remember. A statistic to win a, a trivia game. It's not the end of my day. You know, there's a lot of things that I think. Mm-hmm. But every time I say, I know this is how it works, then I something find changes. something else that makes me go, son yeah. of a bitch, I thought I knew what I was talking about. Yeah. Do you know, I found out there's honey never, ever, ever goes bad. It'll always, it'll get the worst that'll happen. It'll get a, a film on the top surface, and you can scrape. Or it'll crystallize. That's it. But you scrape that off, and everything underneath it is just like it was in the thing, the beehive thing. Oh, gooey honey. Well, and all you got to do is put it in some warm water, and it'll go back to liquid. Do you Don't know? Don't ever microwave your honey. Do you know what I for read? Those of you that are oh, listening, what? Yeah. I read that honey is good for burns. Yes. I didn't know that. I, you know what? I used yeah. coconut oil like an idiot. Of course, it healed, but if I would have known about honey, it, <laughs> never mind. I was well. See, bad joke. And if we use if we used honey for a burn, yeah, Wayne would be licking it off as fast as I was putting it on. So he he likes his honey. I 
sadly, I that's kind of where I, yeah. Once again, well, Cirque would like that honey thing, would she? <laughs> The coconut yeah. oil is more like a dog thing. Dogs will lick that off you because they, they yeah. smell that coconut. They love the coconut oil. The dog. Cat don't give a fuck. What is that about cats? Man, that cat is like, fuck you. He just struts around with his tail in the air like, you know, look at my, I'm one-eyed Jack. Fuck you. <laughs> anyway, yeah. But well, how do they do I want to know. I, I want to be a cat. Miss Mary, I've just decided what? when I grow up, I'm going to be a cat. Okay. Are you going to do the whole hiney lick maneuver and all that fun stuff? I, that's what my cat likes to do. I she likes not. to come right up and get on your lap and then do the hiney lick well, maneuver. It's like, thanks. thanks. Part, part cat. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, start, let's start walking and not run yet. <laughs> but... There's just some of the some of the shit that a cat does that is just so smooth, and then other times, wow, they're dumber than a dog. <laughs> oh yeah. But eh. yeah, and they blow it off like that. I meant to do that. <sighs> yeah. But, well, yeah, yeah. My doozer was really good about you know running hell bent for election, mm. and then running into something. Ooh. And then she just kind of looks at you like, well, I, I meant, meant to, to do, do that. that. I know I that meant look. to do that. See? Until she goes behind a piece of furniture or something where you can't see her, and then you can hear mm. very faintly, fucking meow. Mm. <laughs> it's like, oh. oh, you poor kitty. I think there's <laughs> there's a freedom walk in, in London. I don't know where. Oh. Freedom for the children, peaceful walk. 22nd August, St. George's Hall, 1 p.m. And it says the date again, walking to Crown Courts. Join us. So that sounds very English, but I could be wrong. It just got my attention. I was surfing the uh, Mines thing. And I went, ah. wow. Well, England. England went to shit, too. Well, yes, Australia, Canada, New Zealand. So, oh, hey, New Zealand's like a communist fucking country. Well, yeah. Yeah, well, well, my ass. You can't do this. You can't that. You got to this. You got to that. Wait a minute. That's like America, too. Ooh, ouch. I must have slapped you hard there. Huh, Miss Playing Obsolescence? Yeah, well, <clears throat> I, uh, yeah. I know some people that are over in, like, Ireland, Scotland area, I've and it, is, it is uglier than... Yeah, that's what I've read too. And I yeah 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 yeah. But let's see, it's all this English shit, man. Something about English, like you, <clears throat> hint hint. You know what you always say? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Spelling. Uh, uh, huh. Okay, mm -hmm. well, it's awful coincidental though that the gullibilist of the population of the whole fucking planet all live in the English speaking world. Yeah. Don't see Japan going along with this here shit. No, you don't. Or those wacky Swedes. I know them crazy Swedes. Nick crazy, Garagua. Crazy. I can look for the other two, but I'm not going to. I'm going to make them do it. They're reading. They got the internet. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, wow. What a day. I was going to do yes. the show late tonight because I had something else to go do, but got that done faster than thought. So then I just end up rushing around like an idiot to do it on the regular time. <laughs> anyway, so ah, I missed the anyway. show last week. I don't know. Had a eh, didn't feel like it or something. Ah, well, I missed it last week too. But you know what? You said something about mine, so I went and clicked on mine. And right up top, very first thing, yeah. new book yeah. for men, Don't Stick Your Dick in a Blender. Wow. How to Be a Nice Girl Instead. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, pretty bad, huh? That, yeah. It's that like, would wow. Even, that's, well, it sounds that, so realistic because these idiots are wearing fucking masks and burning their own cities down. How ignorant yeah. do you have to be? I mean, 
twenty twenty. And then they're expecting and, the rest of us to pay for it so that they can do it again. But what, what, where did these people come from that they raised their children to be? They're twenty years old now, and this is what they've created: these violent fucking idiots. Yeah. I yeah. don't remember things being all like that. I mean, we had people that fought, and, you know, some people were a little more cocky than others, but as far as these riots where everybody's uh, burning shit and throwing bricks through windows, where where do you get idiots to, to, to do a thing like that? It just seems stupid from the start. I mean, what kind of... Where is the attraction to being in a group of violent idiots burning shit and breaking shit. What's... What? I must have missed a meeting again. Well, and I want to know, where is the attraction? Where Where do you go for training for this shit? Like that guy that... that um, oh, shit. It was a few days back. And they were whooping on this gal first. And then they wound up trying to get this guy out of his pickup, and he took off down the road and wound up crashing his pickup. And so they dragged him out of his pickup and started whooping on him. And then as he's sitting there on the street and trying to dial his phone, someone comes up from behind and just flat-ass soccer kicks him in the head. Wow. And they they think that's acceptable. That's that's kosher. That's like extra bonus TV. points, apparently. <laughs> got to be from movies and TV. I don't know. Where else would uh, world wrestling or whatever that shit is? <laughs> oh, all-star wrestling? Wrestling. Well, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm taking shots in the dark here. But who in the hell lets, and I'm like you, who in the hell lets their kids get away with that kind of nonsense? You can't tell me that you didn't have a few signals as that child was growing up through the toddler stage. That they just might grow up to be a cheap shot, soccer kicking in the face asshole. You know, I mean, there yeah, are that, there are warning signs as a have. toddler. But still, we I don't know. We just had a maybe like a code, un, an unverbal. We all just knew there were just some things you didn't do, and if you did well, them, yeah. you're going to get your ass kicked by everybody. So don't fucking do that. See, yeah, that's kind of the way we were. It's like, yeah. don't be doing yeah. that unless you want it done to yeah. you, because odds are that's what's going to happen. You know, you pull a stunt like that, it's going to happen back to you. And here we are, t- 2020, and the, the population seems like a an ignorant mass of morons. And I'm not talking about just America, by the way, folks. There's lots of countries no. where the military is doing these things and those things, and we're getting reports. Who knows what the fuck the truth is? Yeah. But it it's got nothing to do with me. <laughs> but it's out there and it's supposedly oh, yeah. happening. Well, so my little reality just handles this little bit of dirt I can see. And the rest of it's just stories, something to talk about, maybe have a little bit of a giggle time on the radio. Maybe even run across something that's knowledgeable and pass it on to other people. We've been yeah. known to do that, too. But eh, this was dork table time to blow off a little steam, tell a few bad jokes. <laughs> Don't count your shekels before the Jew lo- stops laughing. Uh-huh. Hey. Yeah, that's how it works. You know it's it's illegal in America to knock my people, right? You can see the is inside. Is it really? Yep. I thought that was a state by state thing. No, like no, no. I think no. Kansas tried to do something like that. Yeah, there. Well, I read something similar to that. But if the if the Fed comes after you, if you're big, not not little, but I mean, if you're big and you said something insulting to Israel, you, phew, yep, slap, get you like in in Twitter, like what they they uh banned Trump. Or his kid, or something like that, for like a day, or some over something he twittered. The president's fucking son doesn't have any power on Twitter, really. <laughs> what the hell kind of bullshit game are we playing here? It's ridiculous. I mean, either it is a bullshit game. See, and I'm the one telling you it's all bullshit. But I mean, even if this guy, this 
president's freaking kid can get punished like a fucking punk, then who's who? <laughs> Nobody. Nobody's yeah. anybody. And instead of, but they still got his hero worshiping. Elon Musk is going to go to Mars and, oh, yeah. He's going to blow yeah. a duck and, yeah, on, on Mars. I don't trust that guy. I don't trust that guy. Of course, I haven't liked him ever since he called his piece of crap electric car. <laughs> See? All part of the trap. <laughs> We're so trapped. And average Joe doesn't give a shit. And then people are busy or, wow, can you imagine, like, next month when the uh, the extension to the evictions goes, well, if they don't extend it again. They probably need to a couple times. <laughs> Otherwise, they're going to have a lot of problems. Know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I read yeah, it was I like 2.3 million evictions in one month. And those and those have been added to since and postponed till September 1st, which is right around the corner. So the, I think the Pelosi lady in Congress was saying... <laughs> We're not going to take the deal. <laughs> so the yeah. longer they stall, the longer the people that depended on them to do something for them wait. And this is okay. This is what this is what they're voting to to do, Mary. I'm I'm very. <sighs> well, and I just. <laughs> wow. I still keep wanting to know. Okay, she represents California. So why in the hell does she have so damn much control over what happens in Kansas? You know, I still don't get that whole. It's like, no, she don't <laughs> represent me. Why the hell does she have any kind of say on what happens where I live? Politics. Yeah, okay. politics. Got to get blood suckers. Wow. When this thing crashes, oy, I'm going to miss you because we won't have Internet for a bit. But <laughs> when it does, it's going to crash hard. Yeah. The shot heard all the way to Memphis. Maybe in back. Hey, Beatles over there growling at everything. I know. At Graham, he r r r would you. I must have said a funny. You always <laughs> say a funny. That's, w that's why I have you come on here. Jeez. Oh. Or I go on one of those rants. Oh, yeah. Oh, kind of. I got a rant for you to go on. And it's a word okay. rant because I, okay. I was, okay, let me set up things so you know what I'm talking about here. Okay. So I'm watching this American TV show called Nowhere Man. Okay. It says really, okay. yeah, it's about a photographer, blah, 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 government, this, government, that. But the title, Nowhere Man, uh -huh. right? Uh-huh. And the other day I'm sitting here at my desk and I see the words, now here man ah so i looked at this show over and over and i never bothered and then what just yesterday or the day before and i saw now here and of course the beatles too nowhere man but uh -huh. okay what does that mean in your magical spell casting kind of chitter chatter hmm? well it's one of those depends on where you put the emphasis <clears throat> you know um Nowhere or now here. It really, it's it's like when you say nowhere, it's like no thing or nothing. You have no thing, so therefore there is nothing. Mm -hmm. You are nowhere, but you are now here. Yeah. So, so you no. are nowhere in particular, but you are now here, which a lot of people don't realize that no matter where you are, you are here. And you are now. <laughs> so you are now here. I struggle with that all the time. It, it, you know, and I think that that's the only reason that we have time as a concept in this reality is so that we can actually remember like five minutes ago. Because cause if you don't have the concept of time, hmm. then you can't remember where you've been. And so then you kind of do a peat and repeat kind of like what we're doing now you know with with oh this happened back in nazi germany and and we supposedly went to war to stop all those bad 
Nazi Germans. Well, now uh-huh. we got a lot of Nazi, hmm. N-O-T-S-E-E, mm-hmm. people that they don't want you to see things, so you will not see this on our platform. And and you've got the same shit that was happening in Nazi Germany. It's going on right now. They're not wearing brown shirts. Now they're wearing black shirts with black masks. But hey, hmm. so they're color challenged. It's all about Black Lives Matter. Really? Yes. Well, oh, and I saw the funniest thing the other day. I saw it was on, do you know the the, uh, concrete, like, guardrail parts where it's it's solid concrete for so many feet, and then it's kind of got the guardrail thing going across top on in city bridges and shit? Mm -hmm. Someone had painted Black Lives Matter. Mm. And then someone else came along. With some green spray paint and put an O in front of lives. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. And I went, I love it. Absolutely. I I need to see if my daughter will make me a T-shirt that That says black all lives matter. (laughs) You're going to get yourself hurt. Don't do that. Why? I don't know. Hey, you know what? When I, when I had to wear that mask to walk through the doorway so that we could take Mom out for some fried chicken at the yeah. chicken restaurant in town, yeah. the mask that I was wearing said Trump 2020. <laughs> now, my brother gave it to me, hmm. but where Mom lives is predominantly Democrat. Oh, lovely. And it's a college town. It's even better. And I put that mask on, and my sister-in-law looked at me, and she said, No. I'm going to walk in front of you. because oh, <laughs> you're so and I short. And she was a chicken. Yeah. And she said, Well, uh, that's what we're doing. We're going for chicken. Yeah. But, you know, as soon as we walked in the door, and people turned around and looked, and they saw the Trump 2020 on my mask, and then I took it off and just shoved it in my purse hmm. like a good little, Yeah, fuck you. I'm not wearing this damn thing. I can't breathe in it. Yeah, but um, I mean, I got I got some very interesting looks, and and when we left, I told my brother, "Do not make me go somewhere where I have to wear a mask again, because I will not be responsible for what happens. Because I will wear a Trump 2020 mask just mm-hmm. to piss people off." Oh, you rebel without a clue. Yeah, I am mm-hmm. clueless, but mm-hmm. yeah. I if I got to wear one, I'm going to wear something that's just absolutely obnoxious. Uh, I still need to make a chainmail one. I think I'm going to make a chainmail one. Okay, I think you should. I think you should make one for you and one for Wayne. <clears throat> but get mm-hmm. he, and get him a silencer for his pistol because he's going to need it. <laughs> just kidding! I'm kidding! I'm kidding! Hey, you know what? You you brought something to mind though. Uh huh. Hold on one second here. And that is how memory works. I wrote this down a few days ago. And when Uh you you were saying without time, I think it's got something to do with how we're taught to understand time. But as I age, memory fails. So being aware of the time and all that doesn't help me remember the event. So, hmm. So, but does memory really fail, or is it just short-term memory that fails? Because that's what we're dealing no, with with my I'm, mom right now, is her short-term memory. No, I'm talking but, you about know, we long-term. Were, when, I, well, can't remember, we were, I can't remember things from when I was a teenager. There are just too too many things since then to that, to remember it all. It's gone. Well, there's a lot of stuff crammed in there, and you got to turn that Rolodex, and the fuller it gets, the harder it is to turn it. Well, but, you yeah, know, the other day we were going it, through stuff with my mom and sorting through boxes, and, and I found this old photo album. Uh-huh. And mom and I were sitting there looking at it, and it was, you know, like pictures from when she was in high school and stuff, and she was pointing out cousins and all this other fun stuff. And I was going, oh, well, cool. She, you know, she's recognizing people. This is awesome. Mm-hmm. And I turn the page, and here's all of these little, you know, those little single class pictures. She had all these single class pictures on this page, mm-hmm. probably 
close to 20 of them. And I said, oh, Mom, how cool. So is this one of your classes? And she said, oh, my God, that's the very first class that I taught after I graduated from school Mm. down at Wichita. And then she grabbed the photo album from me, and she knew the name of all but three of those kids. Uh, And I I was just so damn impressed. It's like, God dang, I couldn't do that Oh well, wait a minute. my first grade class. Uh, first grade? But she, oh, no. Well, but she remembered uh, the names of all but three of the kids mm-hmm. from that first class that she taught. Yeah. Now, she couldn't remember if she ate 15 minutes ago, but she could remember those kids. <laughs> and wow. I thought, okay, this is cool. This yeah. is a smile moment. I'm just going to sit here and take this one as an awesome. Huh. But... You know, so memory is a really funny thing, I think. And it, I'm finding that with mom. It's mm, just, yeah. it's weird how sometimes, and then there's times where she'll say, I can't hear you, you need to speak up. And then you mumble uh, something to someone else and she goes, I heard that. And she repeats it back to you. And she and that little tidbit right there, she will uh, focus on uh, and bring up. Multiple times, and it's like, I thought you couldn't remember shit. What the hell's going on here? Mm. Of course, I give her, I do give her a lot of static. Because it keeps her, it keeps her, her mind nimble. Mm. You know, if if we tease her and give her static, then she has to come up with some kind of smart-ass repartee right back (laughs) at us. And so, that's all we've been doing is, you know, we kind of tease her a little bit and, and she she either gives us the mom look or she smart asses something right back. But it's keeping her sharp and making her think and making her exercise those gray cells. So hmm. it's what's it doing it's for been you? Interesting. Yeah. What's it done for me? Usually yeah. on the way home, my memory is shot. <laughs> I keep telling her her forgettery is contagious. Crap. But. It's all good. It's all good. I'm usually exhausted by the time I get home. And the next day, I just kind of, I'm out for so most of the day. It's Monday to Wednesday now, right? Well, I'm no. I'm heading down actually tomorrow, late tomorrow afternoon. Sunday. So that my brother, right. yeah, so that my brother that lives in Hayes. Sunday to Wednesday then. Sunday to Wednesday afternoon, ah, yeah. okay. Yeah, that way my brother can have some time away and... Um, get some things done that he needs to get done and spend some time with his lovely bride. Oh, remember, remember when I brought up that new ID that the government was going to push? It, it's, I think it started, <clears throat> or <clears throat> excuse me, it starts in October. The real ID? Yeah, you can't, can't fly without a, without that or a passport. Even domestically. So... Well, or government. I don't plan on flying anyway. Well, I'm just saying, well, plan. Did you plan? You plan. I don't plan Did I anything. plan to get pregnant the first time? Oh, no. boy, I didn't say that. <laughs> Ooh, ouch. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Wow, how memory works. <laughs> what a topic to be tackling at the end of the show here. The dork there table with Miss Mary. We we were doing weird Weird dorky things today. Poor people out well, there in RLM. <laughs> that's what the dork table is for, for people to go dorkular. I would think so. Yeah. Anyway, so what have we got? We've got like five, well, we got three, well, we got eight minutes. It's 52 yeah. after the hour here in Yeah, five Denmark. plus three is eight, yes. Yeah. Is it? Yes. How do you know that? Because uh, that's a math that I learned, mm. and I can actually take five of something and then add three of something and then count them all up, and I've got eight. Now, if I eat one of them, mm. then that means I ate one of them, so I mm. no longer have eight. Now I have seven. But there's some oh. more of that wordplay stuff you can do. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. So, Woodman staying sober. Why? What the heck? Well, I don't know. Uh oh. Um, no, he says I should stay. He's throwing something should. in the olive oil and fresh garlic and some color of peppers. Yeah, but you said. 
I you, should stay sober, yeah, yes. You left well, out a key word in his I know. Well, sentence. shoulda, woulda, coulda. <laughs> what, oh, that's what he said. Oh, never mind. Help! Okay. Help me! Is, wow, that's one way to put that. This is one hell of a way to end the show. I'm telling you, you crazy woman. Anyway, yes. so we don't have you on Tuesdays, but we've definitely got you on Saturdays. Yes. <laughs> My hostage crisis continues. Yes. Because uh, I was going to do a show last week, and I, I don't know, I just said, fuck it. I don't feel like doing anything. So I didn't. I had a Cartman, screw you guys, I'm going home moment. <laughs> There you go. Well, I'm the guy that does it. Wait a minute. Here. I if I have a if I look at the moon and I think it's looking back at me, watch out. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Well, it's mind over matter. And if you don't mind, it don't matter. But it's serious. It's got it's a big component in the equation. And I think we've been dulled down and worn down and punched and kicked hard enough. To make us stop pursuing it. So, you know what I decided to do? I duck when someone swings. And then that way, Mm -hmm. while I'm down there ducking, if they're close enough to swing at me, I'm close enough to connect with something that's a little bit more tender than what they were swinging at. Wow. (laughs) Where did all that come from? (laughs) Well. We're all Palestinians now, Mary. It's, It's over. The dream is over. Get your No, the dream is not. Over. Yes, it it's is. just begun. It's just that you need to learn to look at this as a lucid dream, not a dream mm-hmm. that's just coming at you and you have no control over. Mm-hmm. You are lucid dreaming. Therefore, mm-hmm. you can realize it's a dream and start interacting and changing mm-hmm. the way it's going. Oh. Well, the thing that I'm talking about hasn't got anything to do with me. It's just comic relief. I know. Because I, I get to make Trump jokes for four more years, or there you go, or I get to start all over with Biden again. <laughs> you know what? I have, I have a question. What? I want to know if Meister Brower and Grimner mm-hmm. have that sooty, du- uh, ash smoke filled looking sky, mm-hmm. like what I got last night when the sun went down. It was bright red. Mm. And so I'm wondering if they've got that down in their neck of the woods Did as well. Because I'm a little pictures? bit farther north than they are. Did you take pictures? No, because all <sighs> I've got is my phone, and it doesn't take cameras or doesn't take pictures for shit, oh. not for long distance oh. stuff. Oh, well, get me all excited with a red sky story, and then I don't get to see it. Well, the sky <laughs> wasn't red. The sky was a weird. I mean, it, it kind of had no, an orangey, just, reddish, and and dusty look to Grim it. Grim said no. But the the mm. sun was mm. huge, mm. and it was red. No, he's well. He says he hasn't seen any ash or soot in his response well, to you. My sunset last night was mm. very interesting. Yeah. So I'm going to see if I can't watch it tonight, too, because it, I mean, there's kind of a haze in the upper atmosphere here. Wow. Who knows and with all this? And it's not from oh. dust blowing or anything like that, because it really hasn't been that windy here. But. Mm. Oh, and I believe uh, Rob and Larry are, are prepared to do Thursday. I, I have yet to hear we're canceling again, but Larry got tied up last week. And on Wednesday and Thursday, he couldn't make it for either day. But maybe this week we'll we'll get him back. Oh, well, that would be Drop cool. Dropping a coil with Larry Woods and Rob Woods. And Dropping me. a coil. Mm-hmm. You well, know, now, okay, now I've got the song, Dragging the Line, Dragging the Line, <laughs> going through my head. Only uh, I'm Blame thinking, Larry. Dropping the Coil, Dropping the Coil. <laughs> Blame Larry. It's all Larry's fault. <laughs> He's the I'm ringleader gonna. of this gang. I'm, I'm just a, I'm just a guest. I'm a hanger on, wannabe. I'm just looking on. Ah. Yeah, I don't, I don't have my electrical wings. Oh well. Nah, and I probably you're never just, will. You're hoping that they get this thing figured out and and it goes to market and 
everybody can buy it like for like two ninety nine ninety five. Whatever the case is, it's just getting it out there was uh, something I just wanted to see. And hopefully something will come. He's working on something, I'm sure of it, because he's been unavailable for the radio to, to chatter about, you know, so he's been working. And well, we just got to wait and see what it's all about. Safe. Yeah, of course. Blah. He's been through that government thing, or he knows already. So, no, don't worry about that. But, what do we got? I'm, Grimner is still, he's st- one more Monday night off on the uh, every, uh, It's All Connected podcast. Yeah. But he'll be back, I think he said the last Monday of the month is his plan. I just wanted to mention that because I actually knew it. And, and I caught half of the half of the freakers ball this morning when I got up. Damn cat. Ah. Yeah, that cat likes to get me up so he, he can hear Grim and Moose. So on the 31st of August. I think so. Let me for. look at the calendar. Okay. It would be a Monday, right? Yep, I'm going up. Okay, then I probably quoting him right. Let's see. He hasn't said anything to the opposite. And no, Isaac he's just Hayes. making faces. <laughs> and Isaac Hayes. <laughs> 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 clever musical people. Anyway, you got anything clever to tell them all besides see you later? Wait a minute. Let me oh, open up Oh, I saw I is. saw something yeah. on Facebook last night just before I went to bed, and I had. It was freaking hilarious. I had to read it to Wayne, and he about died laughing. Um, and it said, random woman in Walmart. You're supposed to be wearing a mask. Me? Replying to random woman? I was supposed to be wearing underwear, but here we are. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was just hey. funnier than hell. So I may need to have a T-shirt made. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Or maybe a mask. You know, and just not wear it. Oh, you drive. You're driving hard bargain there, lady. I'll have to do something. See you next anyway. week, you crazy dorks. See you. Love you. Bye. <laughs>